Well, this morning is definitely off to a chilly start, but thankfully, other than the cold temperatures, it is a really pretty morning out there. We're seeing a lot of sunshine. Here is a current look at the Ward weather camera. You cannot find a cloud, at least on this current view out there right now, and really not expecting much in the way of cloud cover at all today. And we're going to keep it uh, pretty clear. That's going to help temperatures warm up pretty good by the end of the day. Now, uh, just here before the uh, 9 o'clock hour, temperatures still in the low to mid 30s for the most part. The airport is starting to bounce up. It's not on this map, but we're in the upper 30s over there. A regional radar just shows this a oh, very weak cold front pushing through our area. It's really not going to have a much of an impact at all, other than the fact that it's going to kind of increase the winds out ahead of it. As we push into the afternoon here with the clear skies, temperatures will rise into the mid 50s. I think there will be some upper 50s out there as well due to the strong winds out of the south and west and the fact that we have a lot of sunshine. Later on tonight, though, the winds kind of switch out in the northwest. That could bring the chances of for some lake effect clouds up there in parts of Trumbull and Mercer counties. Shouldn't see any precipitation out of that, though. And temperatures will only drop in the mid to upper 30s uh, for tomorrow morning. But tomorrow will be a little bit cooler. High temperatures will only be in the upper 40s and low 50s as that cold front brings us uh, some northwesterly flow. But still, lots of sunshine tomorrow, so it's a pretty good start to the week in regards to the fact that we don't have any precipitation. So today, high temperature 57 degrees winds out of the west could gust out at over 20 miles per hour so that could make it feel chilly every now and then no chance of precipitation though and speaking of warm temperatures for the month of november we've had uh, eight days where the uh, high temperature was over uh, was sort of over what you would expect for this time of year to only three days of below average temperatures over the weekend uh, things cooled off a little bit but I am tracking the potential here for another couple of days, especially towards the middle of the week, of warm temperatures. That's because we do have a ridge of high pressure that's going to kind of amplify itself here in the eastern United States and bring some of those uh, warm values into our area. Now, it will start to come to an end by the day on Friday because there is going to be a storm system that moves into our area, bringing the chances of some precipitation, especially uh, late Friday and even into early morning Saturday. So the seven-day outlook here shows part cloudy skies on Tuesday, 52 degrees. Now on Wednesday and Thursday, that temperature is going to start to warm up there into the low to mid 60s. We'll see quite a bit of sunshine. Those are the days you need to try and get outside and enjoy that weather because uh, 60 degree temperatures are pretty good for this time of year. On Friday, showers will become likely. That's what I was talking about as that storm system slides down into our area. The chances of some showers will continue overnight Friday, probably into early on Saturday before those cooler temperatures arrive on Saturday and Sunday with highs in the upper 40s and partly cloudy skies.